So for this part, um, we are just going to learn how to make the page look a little better and what kind of material is available for us to use it. So last time we left off at sections and we do we are we are actually able to build a pretty decent page but it still looks really basic. It's just a yellow background with a few text. So um if you never had any experience of building a front end with the whole HTML um with how to build the whole front page with um template and everything. This might be a little difficult because that's a lot to learn. But um luckily there are a few websites that we can use that we can get the material to build on top that we can use to build our, our website on. So um let's just get Chrome open. And there are a couple of websites that I want to use. So we are uh, we already talked about color mine before. This is where you want to um find the color for your website. Let's say for the text, the color of the text, the background, and so on and so forth. And there's all there's also this website called unsplash. dot com. This website is really cool because um, I mentioned in one of the previous section that a lot of the a lot of the images that you found, find on Google might or might not be copyrighted, and if it is copyrighted, you cannot use it legally at least for um for distribution purposes. But this website is really cool because it's basically a bunch of photographers that upload the image here. As you can see, there are a lot of really good images here, and you can get come up to this website and get the images, and you can use it on your website for free. So if you're looking for something, let's say, um, oh, computer, type in trend, and you can use any of this image for your website. And there's also Bootstrap. Get bootstrap.com. So you can download Bootstrap or you can just get the templates directly. There are a lot of different places. Um, they also have commu a community website that have a pre-built template that are already created. That you can download and that you can use, but for this one, we are just going to use a couple example templates in here. Okay, all right. So we have to sign in. Okay, there we go. So this is what it's supposed to look like. So we have please sign in, email address, password, something that we should be kind of familiar with because we did build something that's similar to this, but it doesn't look as good as this one. So what we are going to do is that we are going to use this as a template. So there are a couple ways you can do it. If you're not downloading it and you're on Chrome, you can just right click, real page source on here. Or just hold Control and press U. So what we are seeing here is basically the front page, it's HTML file. And again, um, Bootstrap is free. You can use this, so it is actually okay for us to copy and paste this. So what I'm going to do now is, well, basically do exactly just that. We are going to save this. Let's create a new file for now. We may want to build that as a structure later on. 